Now, let's discuss the specifics of registering for a course in the CU Denver UCD Access system. As a reminder, you will always register for your Colorado SPH courses through the UCD system regardless of which campus the course is offered on. When you're ready to register, you'll log in to your UCD Access portal. From there, you'll click on UCD Access and then the Registration and Records tab. You'll select Register for Classes. This is where you'll then need the course catalog code and catalog number, for example, PBHC 5600, or the five-digit catalog code to search for classes on each campus. You'll select in the drop-down menu to either search by class number or by the subject and catalog number. From there, you'll enter the specific course information and click Search. Next, what you'll need to do, and this is an important step, is to make sure that you click Expand All and that will pull up this specific course. You'll want to select the course. From there, some classes, for example, practicum, capstone, and independent study coursework, require a permission number to enroll. If it's a course that requires a permission number, you'll need to enter the number in this section. You'll need to contact your Colorado SPH at CSU Academic Support Coordinator if you need a permission code for a course. Once you've entered the permission code, if that's applicable, or left the section blank if you don't need a permission code, you'll click the Next button. On this screen, you'll need to check the box for the course on the left-hand side of the screen and click the green Add Selected Class button. That will pull up the course status, and you'll click the gold Finish Enrolling button on the right-hand side of the screen. From there, you should be enrolled in the class in the CU Denver system. We do encourage you to check in your UCD Access account to confirm your course registration. You'll see these courses come up in that semester's course schedule if you have successfully registered for a course, as well as your status as either enrolled or waitlisted. Keep in mind that you'll need to make sure that you're looking at the correct semester schedule. So, if you panic because you don't see a course you thought you had registered for, make sure that in the drop-down menu you've chosen the appropriate semester.